Hi, I'm Mez, and this is my first uh, video as a Barbican Young Reviewer. We're here in the iconic Barbican itself to see Efterklang, um, the Danish pop band that have been away for a couple of years now, and they're now back with the Happy Hopeless Orchestra um, to perform their album, Leaves the Colour of Falling. Um, this is their first album for a couple of years. Uh, I've been a fan, so I'm actually really excited to see them. Okay, so uh, it's March the 9th, it's 10 o'clock, we've just finished seeing Efter Klang and I honestly feel exactly the same as I felt after I watched um, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind for the first time. I kind of feel like I'm in this weird uh, alter dimension of the world. Um, the first thing to, that kind of started was uh, the band and the orchestra walking on stage and they were all dressed in white, but uh, all in kind of like different outfits. So we had one guy kind of dressed in a lab coat. We had one guy who was kind of dressed as like a uh, 80s tennis player, like a Beyond Borg, like Pete Sampras kind of style. Um, and then we had some like women just dressed in like kind of white furry jumpers. So yeah, they basically, for the whole hour, they played their album, Leaves the Color of Falling. So the one thing I noticed um, in this concert was the sheer amount of instruments and new number of talented musicians. So I'm going to list through what we had because it was a big number. We basically had, firstly, a string quartet. Secondly, a vocal quintet. Two vibraphone players. An organist. Um, an accordion player. A bass player. A MIDI controller. And it wasn't as if they were all just like playing their own instruments. They were just swipping and swapping. So you had the organist like randomly using a, dis uh, a dustbin and just playing the dustbin as the drums. And then you had like the MIDI controller going and using this like half assembled bird cage as a, a kind of like um, xylophone. And then you had the vocalist kind of just joining in on everything. So they were just basically swip swapping between everything and just like making loads of noise, but incredible noise that just seemed to work and like transpire into this beautiful piece of music. Another thing that was incredible was the lighting. It was like this kind of like strobe lighting that kept coming onto the audience and then like turning red and then turning back like bright white and then dimming again. So we had obviously the opera, so they were made up of like four different vocalists. For me, the favourite had to be the slight. I think it's fair to say the slightly more mature vocalist. Um, I've got her name here. She is the incredible Lils Pef Baslev, and she is 72 years old. And she was belting it out like she was about 21. She was incredible. The highlight of the whole gig for me was the second to last song, um, where they basically cut all the instruments and just got the crowd to kind of join in with the singing. So at one point you had the whole of the Barbican Hall just singing, the leaves are falling. I'm not gonna sing, because I'm a bad singer, but I was singing, I promise. The leaves are falling, the leaves are falling. And it went on for like a good two, three minutes. Um, and it was, I just had a look around the whole hall and everyone was joining in. They weren't, it wasn't like they were belting it out, like football hooligans, but they were kind of just like, singing very softly and it just echoed around the whole hall and it was a really 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 um, spectacular moment I could kind of see even in the band's eyes they were like this is cool and it was very cool at the end of the gig uh, so basically the gig finished and we were just kind of like wandering around the hall and then when we came out, we saw that the, the band Defter Clan were kind of out there just chatting to all the fans um, and signing um, like all the vinyls and CDs and just like, they weren't in a rush at all. They were literally taking their time and talking to everyone. 
uh, we actually had, to, had a little chat with them, didn't we? And uh, we managed to get a little, uh, a little Facebook uh, approved uh, picture, just like this one here, yep. So we got that picture um, and we had a little chat to the basis um, and he was just basically telling us that this was their penultimate gig with the Happy Hopeless Orchestra. Um, probably the last, the second to last one ever. Um, it sounded like um, he was talking about the band Eftergang moving on and doing something different and working on a new album. All right, that's it. We've seen Eftergang. They've played at the Sydney Opera House. They've played in Cold War bunkers, and now they've played at the Barbican. For me, Eftergang are one of the most progressive bands to come not only out of Denmark, but out of um, anywhere, any country. Uh, they make music that inspire all, and I feel very inspired. Um, I feel like I'm gonna just like grab a dustbin on the way and make some music. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Cool.